in his mind, is he sitting there like, hey, I was doing this for my dad. I was doing this for my legacy. I was doing this for my Mother Russia. I was doing this for this. Who is his loyalty to? Is, it the, is he worried about the people around him that are upset with him, that he may lose power, that somebody that wants to replace him? Because he's 69 years old right now. Is he thinking that? Hey, his loyalty is, is to himself, first of all. <clears throat> Secondly, I want to add, add a feature here. Uh, when you, you had Zelensky's picture up there, he doesn't look like a strong individual physically. Putin has a black belt in karate. Putin has cultivated an image of being a real tough guy. Uh, you, you know that infamous picture of him riding a horse? Mm -hmm. No shirt on. No shirt yeah. on. And uh, for quite some time, I think he stopped doing as he got too old, he would have an, uh, participated in a, ho in a hockey game, mm -hmm. annual hockey game, where he and four others took on the starting five of the national team. Yeah. And Putin always scored the goals. Right, he yeah. always had a hat trick against oh, the best players in the e world. Exactly. So, right. I mean, so it's he, ridiculous. This this is so ridiculous, but he believes that he can pull it off, and he actually seems to be pulling it off because I have a video of, of one of the games, and uh, you know he scored a goal in, tw in the first twenty seconds, and everybody screams, "Yeah!" So, so that's that's the. It's kind of like when you let the little kid run down the football field, and all the yeah. the tacklers <laughs> move out of the way, and the six year old scores a touchdown. I mean, that's essentially what he's doing. It's propaganda. So, so he has created that image of himself as a strong man, and he believes in it because you know if. Well, more importantly than he believes in it, the Russian people believe too. in it. Yes. How do they fall for the propaganda? Propaganda time and time again, especially with him. Well. <laughs> I have been lately uh, watching quite a few documentaries about, uh, you know, how Hitler came to power and, and how he uh, he ran the Third Reich. Uh, how did the Germans believe all that nonsense? How would they all go like this in unison? Uh, and, 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 and that was an, an educated populace. Do you think Putin is an extremely sensitive guy? Yes, and I, I tell you... I think you, he's hypersensitive. Okay, so... You know why I'm asking that? I think you know where I'm going with this. Do you think he's super hypersensitive? Yes, and I, I tell you why I know this. Um, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a fellow by the name of Oleg Kalugin. Uh, he was uh, KGB. He was in charge of uh, counterintelligence uh, for the first directorate. First directorate was espionage. I was in the first directorate. Uh, and uh, at one time, he was Vladimir's boss. And I met Oleg a couple of times. He lives in the United States. He's a citizen. And uh, he said, you know, he, he, wasn't, he, he wasn't much of a good agent. But there's, he said, there's one thing I will not do. He, I will not say anything. I will not attack him personally. Apparently, he may know something that would uh, be Putin's undoing, talk, talking about sensitivity. And I'm not going to mentioned that on, on air, so there were some hints, but there, there, apparently it's a great, great sensitivity because of that ego, the narcissism, mm -hmm. right? And uh, There uh, has to be, there has to be something that, to be at that level, you have to be hypersensitive about yes. something. And, and, and running around, uh, you know, American politicians and, and calling them all kinds of names is, is not necessarily doing us any good. And it could just I don't I don't disagree. Make it more crazy. I don't disagree. Yeah, I don't. Disagree. Pat, why do you ask that question? What, what were you, what were you hypersensitive. Yeah. Oh, all I'm saying is, if you're dealing with somebody hypersensitive, you have to the ability to tame. Yeah. Is 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 a, is a is a political uh, skill. skill. Like he, he's got. They got. Uh, yeah. The, so it, the more sensitive he is, the more dangerous he is to the world. And I think he's very sensitive. I think he's extremely hypersensitive. So I think. Whoever makes the next moves with them, mm -hmm. they have to make it the right way. By the way, props to Zelensky for not attacking back and doing any of that. He's, he's saying, listen, man, I'm, not, I'm just fighting you back, but I'm not hurting you. Yeah. They're taking mm -hmm. the soldiers and they're holding the soldiers and the soldiers are apologizing. And they're making a video. I don't know if you've seen those videos where the soldiers who Ukraine takes from Russia Russian soldiers. and they're prisoners of war. They're saying on video, man, I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. They're just telling me what to do. There's hundreds of these videos, propaganda. by the way. No, 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 not propaganda. Actual Russian soldiers. No, meaning are, that's what they're using to win the yeah, hearts and minds yeah. of other people. Yeah, so, so what is it? Is it fear? Do you fear it? Are you worried what could happen? 
Are you worried what he's going to do? And so you said something. You said his loyalty is only to himself. I, I don't know if I, 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 I believe that. I think, I think it is to himself. But I think it's, it's, is it a Lenin? Is it a Stalin? Is it a, there's got to be something more than that. And to be able to handle this guy, you got, you got to do it in a very, it's too late. The strategy of Trump doesn't work with Biden right now. You can't go from not being a tough guy to being a tough guy. Yeah. Like, remember when Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio all of a sudden started talking trash to Trump? Yeah, it didn't work. And everybody's like, what the hell are you doing? That's not your identity. Stop it. You look mm-hmm. funny. You're not a troll. Trump's a troll. You're not a troll. Yeah, don't, don't try, try to, to play in the mud. Uh, no, you're, this guy you're not, lives this in the guy's mud. been a troll yeah. for his entire life. He's a pro. He comes from the streets of New York. He's a tough guy. You're not a tough. What are you doing, Ted? Right. What are you doing? So it didn't look. Not a good look for so him. Biden cannot play the card of Trump. Trump's been that his entire life. I don't think he's life. trying to, though. No, right? he's not. He's not trying. So if you enjoyed this little segment from the podcast, click over here to watch the entire podcast. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Take care, everybody.